In this lesson, I want to show you how to get rid of this warning message here. So before we dive in to take a look at the basics of the back end, I just want to show you how to get this now. It's very important that anytime that you log into your site, if there are any messages in yellow or red or anything on your dashboard, you need to pay attention to that. But in this case, this update here, we don't really need it right now. But you want to focus on the PHP version. It's saying that the current version now is 7.1.33. So you need to update this and it's going to be supported until uh, December 1st. So what you want to do is from your web host, your control panel, once again, if you don't feel comfortable doing this, you can contact your web host and they can tell you how to do that or they can do that for you. But if you have a C panel, a control panel, and your dashboard looks something like this, you can do this yourself. So you go on the search, you just type in PHP, and you can see PHP, the multi PHP manager, click on this. From here, it is going to show you the current version that your, your server is using. But at the right hand corner here, it's going to show when you click on this, you get a drop down. So 7.2 and 7.3. So I'm just for this one, I'm just going to update it to 7.3. You can do 7.2, but I'm going to do that. And once you've done so, you select the site that you want to do this on and then you click on apply and you get a message saying that was successful. So now let's go back to the Joomla back end to verify this. You can reload this page to make sure that, you know, the message is no longer showing you. So let's refresh this and see if it was done successfully. And as you can see, that message is no longer there. So that meant that you've upgraded your PHP uh, to the highest level that you possibly can. So that's going to get rid of the message. But for security reasons as well, it's very important that you make sure that you update your PHP to the latest version. Because if not, it can cause a lot of security breaches and you definitely don't want that to happen to your site. 